This is an important equation for our problem because it means we don't have any acceleration in the x-direction, which when I plug it in down here, we get this. That's zero. x naught, well, in our problem, we're going to pick x naught to be zero so that when we do our problem, we start at zero and end up at x equals d. So this is zero. x is going to be the d that we're looking for. So this is going to be d. And then what else have we got? V, X, naught. Well, we can get that from this triangle we just drew. And T is the thing that we just calculated. So let's just go through this and figure it out. I'll plug in. We'll stay green, I guess. So it's good for the environment, you know. Anyway, so D. Bad joke. I know. V, naught, X. That can't be right. What did I do wrong? See, I know this is wrong because the units don't match. This is a distance and this is a speed. They can't be equal to each other, but my equation says that it should be. So there's a problem with my equation. What's wrong with it? I goofed up because I didn't read it. I wrote it down while I was talking. Doing algebra while talking is actually harder than it looks. Well, I know you can't see me, but... You get my point. Okay, so what did I miss out? Well, x0, vx0, t. There's a t in the equation that I forgot. So I'm going to put it in. And if I was bad, I could do it in green. There you go. Looks like I knew what I was doing from the beginning. You know, particularly if I erase that and put it back in. This again is why using pencil for doing physics problems is useful. Because it means you can fix problems like this when you find them. How do you find them? Checking the units. So here we go. Enough of the lecture on units. But they're really that useful. So you've got to pay attention. 